beautiful human beings hello welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome hello beautiful um this is not an episode of my base game let's play but here are my characters that's um the sim that i'm the main character robin robin spencer johnny Langrab, and then they adopted um a child janet spencer but so this is this is going to be a lot walk through this video a uh, a lot walk through of their home that they just purchased like right now like I just had them get on the phone and buy it. So this is their new home. Um if you guys are following the let's play um Johnny basically convinced Robin to move like right across the street from his parents and his 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 little brother which are the land grabs. This is literally their house right here. Um, and Robin was like, you know what? That's a good idea. We wanted a bigger house anyway. Um, so yeah, let's definitely do it, you know? So this is it. This is Canyon Manor. Um, as you can see, it's in like the exclusive neighborhood, like the richest neighborhood in Oasis Springs. Um, I made this myself. This just came from my little brain. Um, really quickly, by the time this video is up, I will have had it uploaded. And my username is Little Baby Girl on the gallery, so you guys can check it out. I'm gonna upload it um, this this lot as soon as I'm done making this video. But so here's the outside. Let's just jump straight into it. Enough talking. Here's like the side. Oh my! God. I'm so proud of myself, you guys. Like I love this so much. Yeah, this is a good, a better view. As you can see down here, he's kind of like um a pool. I did like a makeshift like pretend jacuzzi area. This is of course like the, the, the beach, not the beach, the pool house that's just like a gym. Here's the back of the house. Um, yeah, I love this. It's just like very blocky, you know, like a lot of squares and stuff, which I love. Just like seeing lots of squares and builds. Very like symmetrical type of vibe. Um... And yeah, so this is just, this is what's going on, you guys. Um, this is the view, of course, it's like, you know, in this kind of like um, desert type of landscape, which I love so much. Here's just, here's this side over here. I mean, just a lovely, lovely modern home, in my opinion, of course. And then, I don't know if this, um, I got this from the debug menu. I don't know if this mailbox would work. You know what, let me just, like, literally okay perfect wow i did not know it would work um so yeah so that mailbox works it's perfectly fine it's good but so we come in though and you come in and it's like here's like kind of the entry area um i want to move that light fixture back actually hold on really quickly because i don't like the way that that looks really quick really quick okay Shh. You guys aren't seeing anything. Shh, shh, don't worry about it, you guys. Don't worry. <laughs> but no, seriously. Um. So we come in, and it's just like the modern, like kind of like an entry area. You have like this flagstone type of wall that was on the outside. It's kind of like going in. A lot of the materials for the home, like, are like a lot of the ones that like are outside. I just like that kind of indoor outdoor feel. Um, we ha we have like I don't know what would you call this like stone tile floors whatever these are you know and I really like it because I think that it really matches with the environment again this is kind of like um a very deserty type of place so I like the the inside even though it's very modern it still kind of reflects that here's like a little bar room um as you're gonna see it's a very kind of modern home but with again like that almost like the stucco walls and like these floors and stuff. Here's one of the little um the little bathrooms here. You have that super expensive tub. Just to be bougie, I got it. Um, here's just the the actual like the shower room is like floor to ceiling or not entirely ceiling, but you know floor to wall tiles. Um, yeah, I really like this bathroom. It's very kind of modern. I like the vibe. Then you come in here and this is like a little green room. I wanted to have a room like that's just like dedicated to nature a little bit for robin to maybe get into gardening for real um so i thought this was cute there's a palm tree that's supposed to be there hold on i want you guys to see it there you go she was hiding <laughs> as you guys can see she was hiding but yeah so we come back in through the front and right here this is like the living area it's like really big very spacious with these like um 
these kind of like um what do you call the, the doors the sliding doors literally my brain man my brain um but so yeah you know very kind of open lots of different colors try to get some greenery in here make it feel you know alive and whatnot a little chess table so that robin can play with their dad that's like their tradition if you guys follow the let's play here's the kitchen just something very kind of you know modern of course to match with the rest of the house i love this black brick here this like kind of glossed over shiny brick in the back very kind of contemporary love the vibes here's like i guess like the little menu and stuff of like what's in the fridge or like what they're gonna make throughout the days which i think is really cute here's you know some sinks <sighs> sinks where's my brain today seriously refrigerators and stoves with a little range and whatnot um some little storage that looks like you know like decorative storage type of vibe here is the um the dining room i swear like you'd think something was going on with me today <laughs> and then here's a little bit of the view of the outside when i originally made this house it was in a different lot and i think i showed that to you guys like i shared where it originally was i'm not sure though i'm not sure though but it was in a different lot that had a better view but this is okay though i don't mind that you know it's like you kind of see like just like the stone and stuff like the big boulders that's still kind of nice to me this is just such a beautiful like scenery so i really don't mind it too much oh no the thing is poking through oh my god i try to do curtains like long curtains and i thought that they wouldn't show but they totally are okay okay but you guys didn't see that upstairs though you guys weren't paying attention right you totally weren't you guys are totally gonna be surprised right right <laughs> And then my idea with these kind of two like um, windows here is that they're like sliding doors But like the realistic ones which don't have like you know how this like it has like it's these small little sections It's divided into a lot of real ones like they're this wide like one door is this one and you can slide it behind this and stuff But these are of course non-functional so I made sure that the only ones to actually go outside are the ones in the living room But these are like you know like pretend sliding doors so you can go out here and really quickly before we go outside i just had to show you the last room which is is this it yeah <laughs> this is the home office um as you can see this whole house is very type of modern but i just love the incorporation of the oh and then these these um things are a little too tan i don't think i like that actually way too tan oh but see, but see but then it looks crazy like that okay you know what no windows no windows because they're really killing the vibe in here it's just very kind of like the color palette for this whole home pretty much is like neutral like what is it like warm neutral you know so we have a little plant area little stuffs the fancy little computer with this the fancy chair here you can like watch tv catch up on recent events and stuff some little bookcases with some hiding of course <laughs> You gotta love this game. You gotta love this game. And then I did like a little glass window area, a little glass moment into the garage. Um, it's, you know, very sparsely decorated, of course, like real garages. It's just like some storage area stuff here. Some artwork, you know, whatever. Very basic, but I really like it. It feels very realistic. And then the outside area, right. So we come out here and you're of course met with all this beautifulness dude like i can't with the stuff vanishing okay but we come out for real for real we come out oh my gosh literally look and there were the the little light fixtures you guys didn't even see this is madness madness so much stuff that's missing but okay but so you come out here beautiful landscaping love this so much if you're wondering where i got these little planters from that all the plants are on this little like grass thingy this is from the debug menu uh, you guys could look up like online like how to access the debug menu in the sims 4 there are so many objects that you could use that can really add so much detail into the game but so here's the backyard area really big tree here kind of hanging over the pool area which i love so much like one of my like the best pools i've ever made in the game utilizing the beautiful platform tool um i just love this vibe like it just feels so so bougie you know but then again here are like the pretend slide doors that open up to the home gym 
um, again you just have this like really nice um, view here of some greenery in the back and some I guess clouds I guess because you are high up um, just a little storage here and then this is um, just a bathroom like the one like in the the main house kind of floor-to-wall tile the whole shower area you know a full a full situation so you don't have to go like up to a bedroom when you're done working out and whatnot and then so we come up the stairs now we go up to do what what's going on here okay <laughs> do, 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 do. and then here's like the little landing area very simple you know not too big not too dramatic whatever just gets the job done and then here's some hallways here's that side here's this side so we come through here and we have like um just like a bedroom here like a guest bedroom type of vibe again the whole kind of vibe for this house is kind of minimalist and and definitely like kind of warm neutral so that's kind of what's reflected here here's like again like a pretend sliding door so that you can you know come out here and just really enjoy the vibe enjoy the views say hi to your neighbors if you want <laughs> Um, here's like a big, you know, little, um, a world map type of vibe. Um, here's like, of course, a mirror so that when you're changing and the little, you know, the little wardrobe, you can look at yourself looking all cutesy and whatnot. Here's the bathroom. Um, I really, I really do like it, especially being in tab mode. This whole like warm neutral vibe. It just matches so well with the outside. Like, you know, this kind of canyon kind of like scenery. I love it. It fits into Oasis Springs so well to me. But so that's that bedroom. Um, I think that's the master. No, it's not. So we could actually show it just to get it over with. This is like a kid's uh, room, as you could see. Um, I like the little accents, like the black accent walls. They just give such a chic little look. Keep the room from looking too, like, dull, I feel. Just some little, like, you know, cute little designs up on the wall. My idea is this is kind of like um, Janet's like kind of like playroom slash like sleepover room. So when they want to like sleep over with a friend or something, they can because, you know, they have like two beds here and, you know, they, they could play with them. Little stuff like that. I think that that's really cute. And seeing as they are friends with like the daughter of the mayor of Newcrest in my Let's Play, I think, you know, this is going to be a room that we're definitely going to use. And then here's just, of course, an, an ensuite bathroom. Every room, I think, um, has their own. Well, except one room, actually. It doesn't have its own ensuite, which is fine. Uh, and then, again, this is kind of like a makeshift, like, um, entry, exit area. Like, this is like a sliding door type of situation. Like, you open it here. And then you have your own little, you know, what do you call this? Like, little terrace, balcony thing. Oh, look at those canyons, you guys. Ugh, lovely view, honestly. Not as good as the original lot, but this this is good. We can work with this. Um, then we come down here, and here's the bedroom that doesn't have a bathroom. Oh, the lighting looks so good in here. This lighting looks so nice, you guys. Love it, love it, love it. Um, but yeah. So again, just like another guest bedroom, very kind of like warm neutral. This is getting a little bit colder neutral. Or cool neutral, which I kind of like too. Very neutral house though. Just overall, very chill. Here is the bathroom. Um, just, you know, very simple. You know, I feel like bathrooms are so boring. And then if you see that I use two toilets, my idea is like one is the toilet and then the other is kind of like the bidet. Um, not to be all European, but like I just feel like it's a good way to like use up space, you know. So I just kind of go with it. And then I'm seeing now a perfect place for a thing would be right there hold on for a little thing for a little um a little robe decoration so we're just gonna throw that up really quickly see and this is why i like kind of doing this kind of going in it in tab mode i was thinking of not even making this like a video on my channel but i, I always do this like from my sim self let's play i always did like a lot walkthrough of like the places that like my sims are gonna live in just because i feel like it really gives you a good like you know a good vibe a good look into what's going on you know but so yeah so that that's that room and then we come over here and this is Janet's room like their official bedroom you know I try to make it very kind of colorful um, their favorite color is 
again it's like purple but there isn't too much purple furniture like they didn't have like a purple bed that I actually liked and stuff so I just went with like pink and like kind of like a periwinkle purple type of wallpaper and then I used the gradient sky one on like the opposite ends of the room just to keep it nice and bright some storage of course and then they have their little computer area and of course like a little a little um, a dollhouse if they want to play and then I really like this because these are again of course like the pretend like sliding doors and I like the idea of like literally like we moved here so that Janet could be closer to the family mainly like to like the land grabs and like literally like they live right across the street and like if we want like when Janet wakes up they could just kind of come out here and just like you know maybe wave at them if, if they see them leaving the house or something or walking in like oh my gosh hey grandma hey grandpa you know like just real cute I really love that vibe so much and then of course they have some canyon views in the background too some of the palm trees very aesthetically pleasing and then here's the bathroom I always like the kids bedrooms I mean the kids bathrooms because the furnishings are just like the rest of the house like the bathroom like there's nothing too special but just the little details like the the purple rug and the purple um towel because again like janet's favorite color is purple i feel like it's such a cute touch of like and then the purple robe like such a cute touch of detail it's like yeah this is just like a, a bathroom just like the rest but like you know it still has some like details of like you know like a child you know with the little purple stuff i think that's really cute but so where's the master bedroom okay i think this one's it so we come in here and here's the master um very kind of classy um kind of you know classy modern type of vibe again just very warm neutral i really love the vibe of this like really love this warm neutral vibe in this desert area and that it's such a modern house but still feels so warm and inviting i feel um but so this is it you know very cutesy i love the colorway in here it just feels so like mature but because everything is so like minimalist and kind of modern it just feels so fresh and bright still and then again of course this is like a makeshift like um sliding door area so you could come out here and really get this stunning view yeah the view here is really nice i really quite enjoy this and then like it connects to the the kids room that little playroom too and then my idea is like you know they're like curtains that are up like in the scene they kind of retract up we just can't see them and so they do come down for privacy of course but you know i really love this view though back to the view and then you can overlook the pool area the jacuzzi the little pool house oh this feels so good you guys feels uh, so good and then here's the bathroom again just kind of like the rest um it was difficult to really like incorporate different colors because there's only so much that I can do that can blend in with the warm neutral vibe of the house and still be kind of modern so that's why a lot of the I use a lot of the same beds a lot of the same type of like bathroom vibes which I don't mind though you know it's like it's just the bathrooms and stuff and again this is a base game let's play that this house is made for so you know I literally only had base game items and I think I oh wait I need to take this down too it's gonna do the curtain thing you're gonna see the curtains from downstairs okay but so yeah and this was the the master bathroom so this is the vibe you know this is pretty much it this is the whole lot it is a five bedroom seven bath modern home you know while i'm at it and now that i literally went with you guys and made all the changes let me actually um let me just upload this house now so that you guys could see canyon manor oh i usually do a thing you know i'll do it off camera because i usually like to do a little description and then put a whole bunch of little um hashtags so that you know a lot of people can see it and download it and stuff but so yeah you guys so i think i'm just gonna end this here again this was just a lot walkthrough episode or not episode but you know a lot walkthrough video the next episode in my base game let's play it is gonna be us like actually like you know living in the house i'm gonna start with them literally right out here like oh my gosh hey you guys so i just made a lot walkthrough video um that i always like to post before like i show my sims living in the house so don't worry about that and yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this um you know i'll just take you guys with me to take a screenshot for the thumbnail we could do like the back of the house just like the back or something you know 
very cutesy, very like whatever, you know. But yeah, you guys, I hope you guys enjoy this episode. If you guys have any questions or any requests for my Let's Play, don't hesitate to let me know. And I'd love to hear you guys' feedback on what you guys think of this house. Look at the Canyon Manor. I love this home so much, and I think it really fits, like, the characters, like, Robin um, and Johnny. Like, they're, like, a tech entrepreneur, and Johnny's, like, a comedian, and they adopted. Like, they're just, like, a very progressive family, and I just love this, this lot for them. Like, it's a very kind of contemporary, modern, you know, type of vibe. Definitely gives We Got Money vibes, which they do. Um so yeah you guys I'll, I'll leave it here okay enough of me talking um i hope you guys enjoy this video and i hope that you guys tune in for the let's play to see me you know living in it with my family but yeah i'll let you guys go okay bye you guys i love you so much okay bye i love you <laughs>